Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm Crypto Foxy, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So let's talk about this Cardano graveyard. So I found an interesting article that talked about uh, how long basically crypto projects last for. And uh, I found an inter interesting fact about Cardano and how they rank among um, holding a lot of uh, um, dead coins basically on their ecosystem and uh you know it got me in thinking and i thought that this was a good idea for a video so let's get into it let's uh subscribe to my channel and like this video for more cryptocurrency news and information and let's jump into it here so this is very very important because i think a lot of people think you know um, they get into something and, you know, it's got this great narrative and, you know, they hold on to it forever. They never take profits. Um, I think taking profits is the number one thing. In my opinion, it's the number one thing that people don't do right in cryptocurrency. Um, and this is going to explain to you why. So Cardano ranks top among blockchain with the most dead coins. Uh, a recent, uh, recent report by AlphaQuest. Uh, Cardano is among the top chains hosting dead coins. The research group analyzed over 12,000 crypto projects arriving at some crucial conclusions, including the death of most of these crypto projects. So 72% of all crypto projects created during the 2022-2021 20, bull run have died. 72%. That's a massive number. So Cardano and uh, Terra ecosystems are among the top 10 categories with the most dead coins. The average lifespan of most crypto projects lasts only three years. So classified, uh, they classified these as uh, crypto projects using four distinctive criteria. They include low trading volume and liquidity, inactive deleted uh, X accounts, down websites, and delisting from coin market cap. So those are some of the big telltale signs that a coin's basically given up or gone. Most projects under review died in 2023. So 60% of the dead coins going extinct last year qualifies as a crucial or critical year for cryptocurrency. Um, if projects didn't last through the last year, they're basically, they're basically done. 58% having a deleted or inactive X, uh, X accounts or website as well. So in the la at least 74% of the projects in the Cardano ecosystem were dead. They're, they basically either just gave up, um, they're just lifeless. And, uh, the average lifespan of these projects was around 2.21 years. It also showed that 11.65% didn't make it past the first six months. 21.77% fail around the one year mark. 75% of the dead projects are in the video game and music sector. Now, I remember last bull run, everybody and their dog, and I say dog very um, loosely because, you know, everything's a dog coin, right? So 70%, 75% of dead projects are in video game and music sector. And what was the narrative back in the last bull run? A lot of it was gaming. Everybody was making a gaming coin. Everybody was making a gaming platform. Um, even, uh, you know, their meme coins were pumping and it's like, oh, just to keep the, keep the momentum, hey, we're going to make a game. And the game was absolute, you know, trash in my opinion, most of them. And uh, nothing really stuck. Or, you know, there's a lot of promises and nothing ever came about them. So I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention um, with with the purpose, and I, I mean, I got your attention probably with the Cardano Graveyard, but with the purpose of telling you that make sure you have a trading uh, profit-taking plan. You can't just, you know, buy something and think, okay, I'm going to be a millionaire in three or four years because chances are whatever you bought is probably not going to make it. You know, after seeing those statistics, I mean, you know, it, it's absolutely absurd to think, you know, I, I'm going to take everything I own, put it in this one coin and say, you know, nothing's better than this. It's uh, it's going to it's going to make me rich and I'm going to retire. Well, chances are it's probably not. So, you know, obviously diversify your portfolios. Let's go into this bull market so that everybody can win. I want you guys all to win. And that's why I made this channel. I think, um, you know. Hearing some of the things that others have gone through and some mistakes that others have made, I've made a ton of mistakes and I'm going to absolutely own that because, you know, I'm going to do better for this bull run. This, this bull market is definitely going to be a lot better than the last one for me because I came in almost at the top and I got wrecked and I learned a lot of mistakes. I learned a lot from my mistakes. I also learned how to make money in the bear market. So, you know, I think I may have a little bit to offer you guys in terms of, you know, maybe a few tips and stuff. Um, obviously, I don't give financial advice whatsoever, but I definitely uh, learned a lot of lessons and I paid my tuition and, uh, you know, I'm here. I'm here for the long run. I love cryptocurrency and uh, it's it's something that I'm never going to give up on. I think it's uh, fascinating and it's definitely um 
changed my life for the better. So hopefully it does for you as well. That's what I got for you guys in this video. I just want to thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one.